Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm here to talk about a problem that affects every single one of us. A problem so big it no longer can be ignored. And no, I'm not talking about the threat of nuclear warfare or the threat of communism. What I'm talking about is far worse. I'm talking about the evils of masturbation. This problem affects every country, town, and street. It's happening all around us, even at soccer games and carnivals. It stretches from coast to coast. Why, even in Hollywood, some of your favorite stars have succumbed to the powers of self-pleasurement. But what may surprise you even more is learning that, even in your own household, at this very minute, someone might be masturbating. In fact, let's take a look at what Billy Myers is up to right now. Oh no, Billy, not you! What would Father O'Malley think of when he hears of this? I bet you didn't know that tugging your steamboat is a sin, did you, Billy? In fact, most people don't know that self-pleasurement is a sin. The big guy himself says that it's evil, so evil that he made it part of his 11 commandments. Yes, I know you thought there were only 10, but in fact there were 11. Turns out that Moses himself was a chronic masturbator, and when he saw the 11th commandment, he chiseled it off. But no, it doesn't stop there, Billy. Not only do you have to worry about religious reasons not to masturbate, you also have to worry about physical deformities. At the Masturbation Rehabilitation Clinic, doctors have come up with several physical disabilities associated with masturbation. You ever wonder why they say you'll go blind, Billy? Well, it turns out that just before the male ejaculates, he has a tendency to open his eyes really wide. Next thing you know, you have a creamy white substance squirted in your eye. This would also explain why a lot of pirates only had one good eye. You see, after spending long days and nights on a ship surrounded by men, most pirates would sneak off to the bow of the boat and give it a quick toss against the wind. It was that or homosexual behavior which most engaged in anyways. Hey Billy, I bet you heard that yanking your Polish meat sausage will make your palms hairy. Well that's not true. Your palms won't get hairy, but the rest of your body will. It turns out that the Wolfman really wasn't a Wolfman at all, but a chronic masturbator. Masturbating 9 to 10 times a day. Billy, I bet you always wanted a 10 inch kibasa. <laughs> well, fat chance, you scrawny bone rack. But even your four-incher is at risk. You see, studies have shown that the more you play peekaboo with yourself, the greater chance you have of shrinking your genitalia. Why, you ask? Well, with all that constant downward pressure, eventually your body gives up fighting against you and starts going the direction you want it to go. And nine and a half times, that's down. The other half may experience a slight increase, but then their one-eyed German monster can't hold itself up anymore and ends up preferring the southern temperatures over the northern, if you catch my drift. Now, Billy, it's not just guys that have to worry about this. Girls are just as easily affected. Their problems are just different. For example, over time from rubbing the elf, girls' fingers will start to curve downwards. As time progresses, their fingers will permanently stay like that. Yeah, sure, they're good for hooking things like car bumpers and dog collars, or used in cat fights or as fish hooks. But they're not good for cooking, cleaning, and laundry. I mean, how can a woman please her man if she can't even knit him a sweater? <laughs> Another problem with women rubbing the pink taco of love is that they'll start to grow facial hair. Do you really think the bearded woman just grew a beard out of nowhere? Of course not. She would have had to fed her oyster five to six times a day to get a beard like that. But it doesn't stop there, Billy. Here's a list of other possible problems associated with playing the back nine by yourself. Bad hips, mental retardation, arthritis. It will make you sterile. Bad body odor, decreased attractiveness in the opposite sex. Illiteracy, all food will taste like chicken. You'll become an alcoholic, a drug addict, a prostitute. It will diminish sexual pleasure. You'll become a communist, a socialist, an American, or all in one. So you see, Billy, every time that you pluck the mushroom, you're not just hurting yourself morally, 
you're hurting yourself physically. So instead of just sitting there playing solitaire without a deck of cards, why don't you go out and smoke some crack? This message has been brought to you by the Crack Foundation. Mmm, crack. <laughs>